Hello everybody, I am Linkzilla, and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. We'll be heading into the final portions of the game right now. Uh, anyways, this will be our last opportunity to do something before... This will be our last opportunity to do something before the game friggin' enters into, I'd say, the ending phase of it, so... This will be our last opportunity to basically, like, take in Isle Delfino as it currently is, and, well, just do some, just do some extra stuff, you know what I'm saying? This guy is still out, hanging out here by the tree. This is our last opportunity to spray that 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 little smoke signal and get the one up there. You'll see why soon. I was shipwrecked and washed up here three years ago. I often think about the far shore, but I can't swim. I never left this little island. Isn't that just awful? Like I said, dude, you're buoyant enough to float. Just put yourself on the water and the tide will take you in. Look, the tide is literally moving towards the shore. It's moving friggin' northwest. You better do something, dude. The tide's coming in. <laughs> Did? Did? He made me experience high tide. <laughs> that joke actually is incredibly dark for a SpongeBob episode. <laughs> We'll still be able to get this one up, but I'm just getting it because, well, it's what I do. It's a free life. Why wouldn't you get it? Now, let's head all the way back up to Pianta Village. You know, I wonder if people in this world are aware that they have secret portals that basically go all over the island. Does Mar... Does Mario and his entourage use them once the game is over? Because, if not, it's kind of hard to imagine having to actually, like, take the conventional means of travel all over the island. Whether it be a boat, a car, or bus. <laughs> anyway, we're going into episode 6, Pianta's in Need. This is an episode that we're going to have to come back to because I'm pretty sure that every single Pianta you rescue gives you a blue coin. I ate his liver with a side of fava beans and a nice Chianti. As you can see, there are goopy puddles of inferno burning goop. I bet that hurts. Hey, Mare. Oh no! I just went away for a bit and now look! I can't believe it! Another fine mess and it's a doozy! Some of the villagers are trapped in that burning ooze! And I just finished evacuating everyone a little while back! What in the world's happening? I think I may start crying. Calm down, Mayor. You're not nearly as useless as the one from Seattle. I'm sorry to trouble you time after time, but please, could you find the time to help us out again? Ten villagers are trapped in the slime. You must hurry. I'm on it. For some reason, they don't play the music. I don't know if that's a glitch or if, like, it's just like this, because I haven't played in a while. Here's the uh, Chain Chomp lady. My controller isn't working.
Right, there's just three more. I'm gonna get resupplied at the hot spring. Just making sure there isn't one that way. Gotta get the old man. Hang on, Grimps. There we go. And now everybody's gonna tell you to go talk to the mayor. Let's go, the mayor awaits! <laughs> even that guy, and he wasn't even involved in this. Let's go and see the mayor, yep. You know, I was half tempted to basically do the blue coin mission, like, uh, before I beat Shadow Mario, but I don't see the point to it. Hey, hello, Mayor. You stop while I'm talking to you. You're the savior of Pianta Village. We are in your debt. As a reward, please take this. We were hoarding it. <laughs> Waha! Do do And now there's only one level that we can do left before all of fucking hell breaks loose. Shadow Mario runs wild. It's time to end this game. Well, not yet, but... There's only one thing that I don't particularly like about this, because all throughout this these levels so far, the mayor has just been really stoked on Mario, knowing that he's such a great guy and everything. And hell, I think that most of everybody has been stoked on Mario. Because they recognize the fact that he's the one who's solving their problems. Come back here, Dinkleberg! He leaves a burning trail behind him, so you gotta be a little bit car more careful. Arr, I'll remember this! Anyway, the reason why I said that, like, up until this point, the mayor and everybody here has just sort of been stoked on Mario. Yep, all apparently all it takes is just one incident to friggin' ruin that. Because watch this. You head on up to the mayor's house. Yeah, he lives on a bunch of scaffolding. The mayor is dancing for some reason. He's excited about the fluff festival, but listen to what he has to say. Oh no! There's more of that hot ooze! Was it you? No, it couldn't have been. 
Wait, that's different. Last night I will remember something accusatory. Okay, I guess the mayor's still on your side. He knows better than that. But then maybe it's this. You! Yes, you! Isn't that Mario? Huh? Mario? I'm so confused! Alright, the mayor and his wife aren't completely brain dead. <laughs> yep, that's what Gramps likes. <laughs> yeah, when I retire, I'll spend my night sitting in a spring as well. So comfy. I know that somebody gets on Mario's case. It's probably this one. Hey you! Stop running around and getting in my way! <laughs> Whatever. Why the heck is the wisp showing up here? And I'm standing in the burning goop. And now that we have that Shine Sprite, the 109th Shine Sprite, check out what happens. We have beaten Shadow Mario in every single world now. As you can see, he is now on top of the Shine Gate, and the entrance to Corona Mountain is open. He dives back there. He heads for the entrance, and all of Delfino Plaza is flooded. Dive! Splashdown! It's so weird, because when you talk to the villagers, you get conflicting information about what happened. Some people say it was record-setting rain, others say that the entrance to the Corona Mountain was blasted open and the deluge came from there. Delfino Plaza has recently experienced a waterfall-like deluge of rain in all areas. Residents are advised to seek shelter on the rooftops, on rooftops, to avoid the rising flood, floodwaters. Some people say, some people are saying that it was rain, others say that it was... Others say that it came from the Corona Mountain entrance. And the thing about it is, the toads will tell you that the water was actually quite hot until just recently. So, it's most likely it came from the volcano. I wonder if all my crates washed away. This guy will still throw you for a loop. Red Toad. Yellow Toad. The town's flooded! It's a concentrated storm or something! Mm. Ow! It's a deluge from the sky! Now this, this one is the one I really like. This is the guy who's fixing the cannon back here, working all day. He's basically got himself a rubber ducky inner tube. <laughs> I just feel better when I'm wrapped in something. <laughs> He's enjoying this. I gotta admit, the town is very interesting when it's flooded. And I love the sight of it. I love basically that this area that you've become so accustomed to is partially underwater. I'm not going to talk to everybody in town, but I am going to basically, like, show you guys what I mean. Ow! How could so much water fall at once? Well, it looks like the other boats are parked here. No, I just... No, I just don't care what happens. <laughs> what does that mean? Has this guy completely lost it? It sure is brighter. Have our shine sprites come back? Oh, now they've noticed. I'm pretty sure that all the fruit ladies say that, so there's no point in asking them. Here's one p here's one group of people that I didn't expect to be out on their roofs, but they come over to the boathouse, and... <laughs> the, 
the beavers, the, the raccoons are up here too. <laughs> Dad looks like he's having a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, uh, oh, I, the boathouse sank. Who could have imagined that? <laughs> I didn't expect to see the, to talk to them. And here's the guy that's always complaining about Mario. <laughs> what a catastrophe! Although it is kind of fun too. Where's that guy that basically is, like, really excited by the, the danger and whatnot? Toesworth! How did you guys get up here, anyway? Blah, 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 blah. Master Mario, did you see that? A fountain of water! It crashed down like a tidal wave, and it seems hot! Yep, it's from the volcano, alright. And here are the tourists. So, this is one of the shining eyes of Isle Delfino? Huh. I guess I just don't understand city life. Am I supposed to be soaking wet? Dude, you live on an island. A tropical one. Here's that guy. Gosh, what a spectacle! I'm just glad to be alive! Psst! Where are the cameras? <laughs> and here's the boat guy. The boats are still running, even in these conditions. Amazing! Yeah, it would actually be cool if that boat was, like, making the rounds to the city, going underneath archways and whatnot, just to basically take the boat where it can't usually go before. Now, I know that there are, like, plenty of glitches that you can exploit in this portion of the game, but I've never really been interested in that. They don't serve much of a purpose. And, as you can see, that guy's little island out there is also flooded. And so, he's out here on the roof. <laughs> well, I knew if I was lucky, I could follow the current. You don't say. It's almost like somebody told you about that. And now, here I am. Oh. Those are the fruit market people. I'm pretty sure that they're only going to be complaining about how the all their fruit is going to rot. And this guy, who always blames Mario. Who knew Corona Mountain was so full of water? And there's that other guy that always blames Mario, and these two guys that are fighting. I don't even want to hear what that idiot has to say. Looks like they're breaking up. I tell you, I'm through with that guy for good. What a way to go! My horoscope was sure wrong! And I'm pretty sure that this guy will just give you the sunglasses and... Where's the blue toad? And then there are the cops. These guys. Oh, blue toad. Ow! I've never seen so much waterfall! Everyone evacuated their roofs, and a good thing, too. Here's what I really hate. Like, this guy. Is it your... Is this your doing, too? Dumping goop? Dumping water? Just make up your mind! How do you expect me to have done this? What I really hate is that immediately afterwards, they, they credit the Flood with cleaning up Isle Delfino. Mario was literally given absolutely no props in this game, except for in, like, the other worlds, but still. I think that one of them does say something about, like, the water of being being hot. <laughs> well, at least you saved the food supply. What's this? The water ceased coming from the mountain? I wonder if it all dried up. What do you mean, dried up? You see that it's still flooded? Banana Lady. I guess we should be glad the water cleaned everything. Until a little while ago, this water was quite hot. There was a lot of steam, but I guess it's cooled now. Right. So that's basically like what's... That's basically your evidence to suggest that the water came from Corona Mountain. And now, there's nothing else to do except... I mean, you could go to uh, Serena Beach. That's pretty much the only portal that's still active, but what they're basically counting on you to do is instead to 
go and follow Ma Shadow Mario into Corona Mountain itself. So... But I gotta admit, this place is really beautiful submerged in water. Like, I just love the way that the blue works with the works with the white. Yep. And there he is. Let's get him. And now we're entering the final area of the game. Corona Mountain. We're finally gonna tackle that virus for good. And as you can see, this place, well, it's probably the only place in, Mar in this game that actually looks somewhat familiar for Mario, because this entire place has Bowser written all over it. But we've already done that for our episode, so we're going to cut this here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like and share with your friends. If you want to keep up to date with more Super Mario Sunshine coming at you in the future, then be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video. Later!